bless you brothers and sisters good morning another day of victory in Jesus for us all how many of us fail to see the glory of God in everything around us because we're too wrapped up in our our mess yeah today we're going to talk about our mess those sins we commit without realizing create a mess in our life because they bring dishonor to God they bring dishonor to God in a way that's unbecoming and the more we dwell in that mess the more it comes back on us God chastises those that he loves when everybody's got all manners of bad coming against them there's something in their life 99% of the time there's 99% of the time that our mess prevents the blessings from God and I'm going to call it a mess but we call it sin and I'm using the word term mess broadly here folks because it's those things that we don't realize are sin because we're not refined yet we're not even close to being refined yet salvation is a process that's ongoing from redemption to the grave and our finished work cannot occur until then but 99% of the time our mess prevents the blessings to come to us our attitudes our fears our doubts our lack of trust in things all trigger the blockade of blessings 1% is Satan testing you the rest of it is us and I'm going to call it 1% would be Satan testing you the rest of it is us there's an old adage the devil made me do it and I'm gonna call bull crap on that adage because it ain't because the devil made you do it it's because you allowed the devil to tempt you and you fell into the temptation like I said you can prevent a lot of things when you realize that sin aka the mess prevents the blessings now if you want the sins go to Proverbs 6 I'll tell you right now and then people don't realize it's only 1% what Satan truly is attacking you because you have a hedge of protection around you you have a hedge of protection around you until you tell God you don't need that hedge of protection that you got this and God goes okay Satan have your way let's see how he does that wasn't the case in Job but for us it is Brothers and sisters, you got to get rid of the mess in your life. you got to get rid of that mess. But let us pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we just thank you and praise you. Lord, we give you the glory for waking us up today, oh Lord. <clears throat> Lord, we want to thank you for all the blessings we have received. Lord, help us get rid of the mess that prevents your blessings to us, oh Lord. Help us see how you see things. Lord, guide our paths. Deliver your children from the illnesses that are plaguing them right now, Lord. Cancer, migraine, strokes, heart attacks, seizures, blindness, and so much more. Lord, those that are losing their faith, Lord, re-strengthen their faith. Give them the sight they truly need. Give them the voice they truly need. Give them the ears to hear what they need to hear, Lord. Our brothers and sisters that are battling financial issues, Lord, deliver them from that 
thine bondage. Lord, those that are battling life issues, deliver them from that bondage. Give them clarity of mind and a purpose, Lord, and a direction to their path. Lord, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us and bless our enemies, Lord. Bless those that despitefully use and curse us, O oh God. We ask all this in Jesus' mighty name. And again, we praise you always. Amen. Love you guys. God bless.